team. This is your boy, Mr. Wright. So I had uh, an extremely productive conversation yesterday with a really good friend of mine. And, you know, I was able to express a lot of things that was going on in my life as far as being single and what what dating is like, you know, in your late 30s for a, for a young black man, right? And I was going through and bullet point after bullet point I was going through and, uh, you know, I was addressing some of the issues I have with modern women and, you know, how how they're not looking for a traditional black man, right? They're not looking for uh, a head of household kind of guy that, that wants to go out and, you know, take care of the home, take care of the family, not take care of the home, but take care of the family, you know, be the breadwinner and, and, you know, provide and protect like you're supposed to do, right? Growing up, you know, being born in the 80s and growing up, you know, that's what, that's what I'm accustomed to. But, you know, as, as one of my other friends say, you have to evolve and you have to grow. So, you know, it's, 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 it's a complicated situation because this dating atmosphere is different, man. It's not like, uh, how it was, you know, back in the days, especially how it was in my twenties, you know, women have so much more options, you know, they have so many more options and, a lot of their options are from orbiters, you know, guys that lust after them. And it's all about attention these days, you know. I think the game is played based on how much attention you give a woman. And it's not so much about how much you actually care for a woman. So, I know this is long-winded, but I say this because, you know, I, I believe you have to explore. You know, you you have to see different worlds. You have to see different things. And that's why I want to I want to travel more. You know, that's my goal for 2021. You know, despite all this COVID, uh, <laughs> I probably shouldn't say that word since I'm putting it on YouTube. Despite all this health issue that we have, you know, I really, 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 really want to travel. I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos that that show different, you know, different worlds and how how dating is like in different, you know, different parts of the world. You know, I'm, I'm used to Western women. I'm, I'm used to Western philosophies that, that kind of, you know, kind of caters a lot more to the women. And it's, it's very hard to, to show value in this world. If you're not, if you're not making major dough, <laughs> a lot of women think, that everybody supposed to be a high earner, and that's not what it is, you know. Eighty percent of men get get uh get told they're not good enough because of what they make. <laughs> I know it's appalling, but that's that's the world we live in, man. That's the world we live in, and it's not going to change. It's only going to get worse, you know, because we're living in a material world where you have to show everybody what you have and what what resources you have. You know, you have to show them the big house, the cars, <laughs> the children dressed up. You know, you're pretty much a prop in some woman's life. Ooh, I'm going to get some hate for this. <laughs> I don't know if I should upload this one. Ow! <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, oh. It's a moment of honesty, man. It's a moment of honesty because a lot of men are frustrated. A lot of men are frustrated with dating. A lot of men are frustrated with the courting process. A lot of men are frustrated with the relationship process. You know, what's in it for us guys? You know, what's in it for us uh, that makes us want to want to have relationships and even even move on to marriages? Like what is in it for us? <laughs> I don't see many benefits, man. Like I told my friend, man, I sleep good. I sleep good at night. I remember the last relationship I was in, you know, when that relationship was on the rocks and it was, uh, it was starting to end. It was rough, man. It was rough. You know, I couldn't sleep. I lost a lot of sleep. I remember I lost a lot of sleep, man. And 
this is just me being transparent, right? This is just me just, uh, you know, just spilling my guts out a little bit. I'm not going to get too, <laughs> get into too much detail, but you know, I lost a lot of sleep because I was, I, I really cared for this woman. And you know, when a woman's fed up, when she's done, she's done, bro. I mean, it's over. There's no getting her back. She's gone. Right. And the ultimate slap in the face was well, this woman told me I was trying too hard. This woman who was living at my house, using my electricity to charge her goddamn iPhone, <laughs> told me I was trying too hard. I, it's the ultimate betrayal, the ultimate stab in the back. But I say this, I say this because right now I'm single and I, I'm in a good spot. I'm healthy. I'm well. I have freedom. I have freedom to go where I want to go, do what I want to do, pursue what I want to pursue. And it's the ultimate form of, 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 of freedom, you know, because I can pursue my purpose. And there's a couple of channels on YouTube that I follow that, that speak in length on that about, you know, pursuing your purpose. And the more and more I try to pursue that, the more and more I try to figure out the more and more I do figure out what I enjoy doing, what I like, what I don't like, shit I like to eat, shit I don't like to eat, you know, places I like to be, places I don't like to be, you know, people I like to be around, people I don't like to be around. Your your mind gets opened up because you're not catering to another person. You're not entertaining another person. You're not solely doing things just to make that other person happy, right? And that is a part of relationship is compromises and and making sure that you are living for that other person you know i get it that is a part of relationship but you know right now being a free agent <laughs> i like that term being a free agent you know I, I don't see the benefits i don't see the innate benefits of of you know wooing a woman if it's not for, you know, if it's not for companionship and, and, and sexual escapades, <laughs> I don't see the benefits. All right, guys, this is long enough. See y'all on the next one. Peace.